All right, and we're back to this next section. Now, on the previous session, what we had done was split an audio into this video segment. So here's an example of what I would show. In this case, we're doing a different video in uh, around 40, as I did as I mean. And this is what SubSSRS will make it end up looking like currently, like as I put concerning lyrics. So first things first, let's import it into a uh, system. Importing is not too difficult. Bring up iPods. You probably already know how to do this. I'm just showing it for completion sake. Go here, add folder to library, and then you would just simply go and find the folder that you've copied the video files into, and then, like in my case, SubSSRS video, add it. It'll add it all into iTunes. I've already done that, so you'd already see here are all the around 40 files. Now, if you right click, this now I'll be getting into the next section uh, concerning lyrics. Uh, for for the time being though, when you sync this, it should go onto the iPod or your iTouch, iPhone, whatever, and you can then play it as you go along. You can either put on random, listen it to uh, random bits of the uh, show as you go along, in addition to all the other shows, or play it in sequence. And it's a pretty smooth, pretty smooth play. Uh, if we go to get info, this comes up. This is where you can add some information. You don't really care, but click on lyrics. This is the interesting part I want to talk about. Here we can actually add lyrics to here, but you're not going to type these in. Let's, let's let me show you a very simple way to go about doing this. Let me cancel here real quick. All right, I'm going to shrink this down. And this is where we're going to need to get. I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to go into detail about something that's tedious. Uh, may take a little uh, savvy with the spreadsheet program. So first things first, you need a program called Aegis Subs. A G I S Subs. This one right here. All right. All you do is go File. And you would open a subtitle. In my case, I would say a subtitle I would be using is around 40. That one right there. Cancel. I'm going to cancel it, but because I've already got it loaded up right here. All right, next thing. Click on the first one and then scroll all the way down. Hold down the Shift key and click on the last line. Right click, copy. All right, next thing you're going to do is bring up a spreadsheet. I use uh, OpenOffice, so I don't know it, how well Word spreadsheet we'll be using but go to edit paste special not paste paste special on formatted text here's what's going to happen uh, don't worry about dividing it but you're going to get something that looks like this okay not very usable at the moment what we're going to do is convert this into a format called LRC not too difficult believe it or not For now all you got to do is go into here right here where you see that this right here is the right there. That's the actual start time of when this line of dialogue begins. That's what we're going to be using. We need to get rid of everything else except for the start time and the line of dialogue. So to do that, highlight the first part where you want to get rid of. Copy it. Go to Edit. Find Replace. All you're going to do is paste that. You're going to replace it with a bracket. Just replace it all. So, so all we're going to do is just replace all. Yeah, magically it all goes away. Next thing we're going to do with the other, with the other end of it. Go in here, see it's default. Go from the comma all the way to the line of dialogue. Copy it. Paste. This time we're going to end it with the other bracket. And add this symbol, this and symbol. I'll explain the purpose of this on the later on in this. Uh, Again, press replace all. Magically, everything goes down. All right, last thing we're left is this right here. This should be the only instance of seeing a regular comma in here because everything else is in uh, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. So it should just be using UTF file. It shouldn't worry about this little comma. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to highlight that comma. Copy it. Gonna do the same thing. Edit, find, replace. This time we're gonna place it with the in, or, sorry, close bracket, the and symbol, and the other bracket. Place it all. Should be done. Okay. Now, there is a reason. Like I was saying, why did I have to go go through the steps? This comes to the next step. Select all the lines. I know I'm being detailed here. Copy. 
bring up a notepad file. Paste. Okay. I know this sounds stupid, but okay. Edit, select all, copy it again. Edit and then paste special. special. All right, so like I said before, we're going to copy this, we're going to go back to our spreadsheet, we're going to right click and paste special. Now we're going to find out the reason why I put those and symbols here. You're going to right here separate by. This is what's going to separate these lines into different columns. So, we're going to separate by and we're going to put that and symbol in there. And if you look down here, you'll see an example here. They're now in separate lines they're now in separate columns so we're going to click OK. In the LRC format the only thing you need is the start time that's this column here you don't need this column the end time so we're going to get rid of that delete column last thing we're going to do we're going to select everything again copy bring up now we're done with the spreadsheet now we're going to come here we're back in the notepad and paste it Okay. What you now have is a start time and the line. Now, I'm a bit of a neat, neat freak, so I'm going to get rid of these tabs. And that's not too difficult. All you do is go to copy this, edit, and then find replace. You're actually pasting that tab in. You're just going to replace it with the space. So, now we have this file here. What you can do, just to make sure you don't lose anything, save as. Encoding, we'll use the UTF-8. Click around 40, this one right here, the audio file, if you had it, which you don't. But. So we're going to save this as around 40 dot LRC. That's the ly lyric format. So we're going to save. Okay, this is now saved. Now we're on to the next step. All this process was just to create this lyric file. Uh, what I was talking to was about then taking these lyrics and pasting, copy and paste them over into your audio file. So again, I'm showing you this and I'll explain why hopefully you'll never have to do this again. So bring up iTunes. There you are. Bring up the audio track. So I'm going to keep this out of the way. So all you got to do, right click, go to get info, lyrics come here copy the first five minutes of lyrics that's easy just scroll all the way down to five minutes there it is it's gonna copy it and paste it right there and click OK now what happens is and you can do this for each and every line so just keep at going every additional five minutes and do it for all 13 songs. I'm not going to do it here uh, the benefit is when you play this on your iPod or on your iTouch, these lyrics show up and so you can read along almost as if the subtitles are playing while you're doing it. Uh, this is tedious. You just saw this is a lengthy process. It takes a little bit of spreadsheets, notepads, copying, pasting, find, replace, and then another copy and paste into each of the songs. This is very tedious. As I was saying, I had a conversation or I had a uh, online chat or dialogue with the subs SRS creator, and he seemed uh, to like the idea of having his program automatically do what you just saw uh, me do manually. Uh, now, will you can you know, I always tell the speed process, and you will notice all right off the bat when you are reading, when you're listening to the show, and you got the dialogue right in front of you, it you can follow along a lot better. Uh, so it's really good to help with you when you're setting up the so-called uh, immersion or uh, contact environment with Japanese. And I found it actually was better than watching it with subtitles on the TV show because uh, some, some lines will go by and disappear really fast but on your eye touch it's actually all these lines of uh, dialogue that you see so you can read it as about as fast as slow as you need and you can always catch up later to the next show. And on the, also when you got it sped up 
dialogues in, individually set, when you're jumping show to show, the dialogues are right there for you. Uh, enormous benefit. Uh, I wouldn't want to understate it. So there you have it. We have split the audio from the previous segment. Now what I've shown is how to put onto the I iPod, which wasn't too difficult. What I wanted to demonstrate was the putting of the lyrics onto the song, which I don't think many people have done, uh, especially when you're using subtitles. And I showed you how you can convert your subtitles if need be. Because uh, what you can also do if you wanted to, what I just showed you with the spreadsheet, is that same file, just print it out. Now you can read along. You don't even have to have it on your uh, iPod. You can just be on a piece of paper in front of you. Nope, nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, then we'll go on to the next segment. I think now we're getting into the part where we're dealing with subsets or S and studying. So that'll be around the next section, I believe. All right, thank you.